Everybody with Falling Forward Financial, I uh, just wanted to do an update on uh, Grow Generation on uh, 420. Uh, this has been one of my uh, favorite, um, we'll just call it MJ related stocks. It's actually a hydroponic, uh, but um, MJ plays a good uh, part in this price of the stock in regards to um, the price going up, uh, the uh, revenue and uh, everything. Uh, that revolves around hydroponics it's kind of the picks and shovel um, play to the MJ if you will uh, but this is grow generation I've talked about this one a couple times here on the uh, channel it's uh, one of my uh, favorite ones uh, tickers GRWG 57% uh, buy so not too bad it's um, kind of like a lot of the other plays uh, kind of had a uh, up and down three months here 64 could have got the uh, dip here back when everything dipped in uh, March. That would have been a great time to bought it at uh, 37. And right now it's at uh, 43.67. And down 22% over the uh, last month. And um, don't let that scare you away because uh, this one does uh, run up. Um, and here's kind of what it's done over the uh, last week. So kind of like a lot of other stocks out there and uh, just like everything else um, was up and then uh, kind of came down so uh, but here's a, a picture of uh, what this one is uh, feel free to pause uh, like I said it's a hydroponic organic specialty uh, gardening products uh, nutrients and so on been around since 2014 2.5 billion dollar uh, market cap uh, this one Scott's Miracle Grow and uh, Village uh, Farms uh, VFF, I uh, believe a uh, Scott's Miracle is SMG or uh, three of my favorite uh, in the uh, MJ field. Um, can't go wrong with them. They're a little bit safer play, not quite as uh, volatile as some of the uh, MJ stocks. Uh, but uh, here you can see uh, where I bought mine back in August of uh, 2020 uh, at 863 and uh, bought some more. Five at nine fourteen, one at eight eighty nine. Uh, so August uh, or before was the uh, best time to buy into uh, this one. Uh, but of course, I didn't buy any more at the time. That's probably all the cash that I had. And uh, but sometimes you just gotta stick in the big toe and uh, go from there. But uh, is Grow Generation stock a solid choice uh, right now? And as you can see, this is dated on the sixteenth. Uh, uh, one stock that might be an intriguing choice to investors right now is uh, Grow Generation because the secure and the agricultural products space is seeing solid earnings estimate revision activity. And you're going to be seeing this one uh, grow up, go up, and grow up, uh, just like the name Grow Generation. Um, so, I mean, it's just like a rising tide that will lift all boats in the industry. And so, this one. Like I said, it's a uh, picks and shovels play, and uh, I don't feel you can go wrong with it. Uh, but again, I don't give tax, legal, or uh, trading advice. Feel free to pause and uh, go over the rest of the uh, information there for yourself. Um, but um, earnings on this one, it's a strong buy. It's um, just been a great one um, that I'm going to continue to hold. And uh, if I get another March 5th or March 8th dip or whatever that was um, date, I'm going to be uh, purchasing some more. Over the past 30 days, uh, current quarter estimates have moved from $0.05 cents per share to $0.07 cents per share, while current year estimates have moved from $0.39 cents to $0.47 cents per share. Uh, so very good uh, earnings and everything on this. Uh, feel free to pause and... Uh, Take more of a look at that if you would uh, like. Uh, again, this is the uh, volume uh, from Zacks and kind of the uh, run up. As you can just kind of see, there is some um, kind of after it runs up, I suppose there is uh, profit taking and so on. But you see, it just keeps stair stepping up here, it goes up, and then slight pullback, goes up, slight pullback, and just continues and. Um, continues going up that way so so if you're looking for a decent pick uh, like I said in the strong industry consider grow generation uh, like I said Scott's miracle grow is a another one 
Uh, but a massive push to rebuild the crumbling U.S. infrastructure will soon be underway. Uh, that could have a, another uh, uh, catalyst in this particular stock with trillions to be spent. Uh, whenever that goes through, I've heard June or July, and fortunes will be made. The only question is, will you get the uh, right stocks early when their growth potential is uh, greatest? Uh, so if you like Caterpillar and uh, John Deere, I just did uh, videos on those uh, to uh, infrastructure in the uh, last week or two. You can find those in the library as well. Uh, grow generation, the stock for success over the uh, next few months. So this shows over uh, 1.3 million uh, grow generation shares uh, changed hands at the company's beta touch 2.97 with the company's uh, price per share at 47.1 changing hands at uh, 0.3 or as 0.01 percent during the last session and feel free to pause and uh, go over the rest of that information there for yourself uh, so you could have got a 52 week low of at uh, three dollars and 22 cents so uh, definitely one to uh, put on your radar and uh, watch this one uh, pretty closely so grow generation shares up 2.9 percent pre-market after it backs 2021 uh, revenue guidance and as you can see this is just dated today uh, nine hours ago after the company reiterated uh, guidance for 2021 of revenue of 415 to 430 billion uh, the Denver Colorado based company made its the uh, move announced to the acquisition of Downriver Hydroponics a uh, Michigan based indoor garden supply center in Wayne County Downriver Hydro was uh, founded in 2011 and is the uh, area's biggest hydroponics store with annual revenues of almost 10 million grow generation said its portfolio of hydroponic garden centers now includes 53 stores across 12 states with seven locations in Michigan Michigan's MJ market is expected to uh, generate 3 billion in revenue over the next three years, making an ideal place for further investment and expansion. Uh, so this one's going to continue to expand. I just did a uh, video on uh, High Tide. Uh, they open stores, it seems like almost one a week. Uh, I think they're currently at 85, shooting for 115 by the uh, end of the year, if you see where I'm going with this. They're all expanding, they're all growing, uh, so should uh, Grow Generation they all have uh, products to grow and uh, to uh, sell to the consumer what percentage of uh, grow generation uh, shares do insiders have and as you can see this is just dated uh, yesterday a look at shareholders of uh, grow generation can tell us which group is the most powerful generally speaking a company grows institutions will increase their ownership and feel free to pause and uh, go over the rest there for yourself. Uh, grow generation isn't enormous, but it's not particularly small either. It has a market capitalization of $2.1 billion, uh, which means it would uh, generally expect to see some institutions on the share registry. What does the institutional ownership uh, tell us about Grow Generation? As you can see, institutional investors have a fair amount of stake in Grow Generation. And if I was an institution, I would do the same. Uh, if multiple institutions change their view on a stock at the uh, same time, you could uh, see the share price drop fast. It's uh, therefore worth looking at Grow Generation's earnings history below. Of course, the future is what uh, really matters. And. We note that the uh, hedge funds uh, don't have a, a meaningful investment in Grow Generation. The company's largest shareholder is uh, Gotham Green Partners, with ownership of 6.1% and 4.6% and 3.7% uh, of shares outstanding, respectfully. Uh, BlackRock, uh, Vanguard Group, uh, so some of the big players uh, have some uh, stakes in uh, Grow Generation. And feel free to pause and uh, go over the rest there for yourself. 
general public ownership, uh, holds 45% stake in uh, Grow Generation, private equity ownership, 6.1%. Uh, and if you have any Grow Generation, go ahead and list that in the um, um, comments and what your cost basis is. And uh, if there's any other hydroponic plays you're into, whether it be a Scott's Miracle Grow or uh, Village Family Farms, uh, VFF is the ticker. Uh, like I said, I've covered all three of these uh, numerous times. Go Grow Generation expands in Michigan, acquires Downriver Hydro. This is just uh, dated here today. Uh, the deal details weren't disclosed. The Indoor Garden Supply Center in Wayne County was founded in 2011. Its annual revenues amount to roughly $10 million dollars. Uh, they had moved follows GrowGen's purchase of 55 Hydroponics, a Santa Ana, California-based hydroponic and organic fertilizer store, and Aquarius Hydroponics, which is located in New England. Acquisition of Downriver Hydro brings the operational footprint of the Denver-based company to 53 stores across uh, 12 states. Uh, so just like a lot of the uh, MJ companies, uh, Grow Generation is uh, growing and expanding and and got to cover all the uh, needs of the um, MJ plays. And um, last year, uh, when everybody was staying home, a lot of the uh, people were doing uh, gardening and um, so on. And so it just keeps uh, growing, just as the name Grow Generation I'm trying to get uh, Reddit to open here. It uh, might. Um, and Tip Ranks isn't open either. So here it goes. Uh, so Grow Generation is showing a moderate buy out of three analysts, two showing a buy. Uh, projection of 63, uh, 67, a 46.91% upside, a high of 77, and a low of 54. Uh, the way this thing uh, grows, and if we can get uh, legalization to uh, go through, um, I could easily see this being a $100 stock. It's just going to boom once um, all of that happens. Uh, apologize, Reddit or Stuck Twits isn't going to open, so just to uh, save your time and mine. Uh, that's all the information that I have on uh, Grow Generation, but like I said, if you have this one, go ahead and leave it in the uh, comments. And along with your cost bases, and uh, I don't think you can go wrong with this one. But uh, again, I don't give tax, legal, or trading advice. If you haven't smashed that like button yet, go ahead and hit that for me as well as subscribing. That would really help out the uh, channel. And um, go ahead and uh, subscribe if you haven't. And hit the bell so you're notified of when the uh, next videos drop. Again, this is Jay Money, Falling Ford Financial. Happy trading. Happy investing. Stay green. Cheers.